Welcome everyone, I'm your immigration attorney, Anthony Ray. So you want to become a U.S. citizen, right? Well, before you can become a U.S. citizen, you have to get your green card. Today, we're going to break down one of the ways you can get your green card. Ready? Let's get started. Adjustment of status. What is it? What is an application for adjustment of status? The application for adjustment of status is commonly called Form I-485. If you are in the United States, this is the application filed by the foreign national to apply for his or her lawful permanent residence or green card. This 20-page application asks every detail about you and your background. There are more than 60 questions that, if answered yes, could make you inadmissible to the United States. That means no green card and the government will most likely try to deport you and may bar you from entering the United States. This is the main application used by the USCIS to see if you qualify to remain in the United States. Truthfully answer each question and make sure to make no assumptions. What supporting documents and applications typically go with the filing of the application for adjustment of status? When we file applications for adjustment of status for our clients, we include several additional applications and a bunch of supporting documents. The additional forms we include are the Affidavit of Support, Declaration of Self-Sufficiency, Medical Examination, Application for a Travel Document, also known as advanced parole, and the application for employment authorization. Common supporting documents that we include are relationship documents, such as photos, correspondences, wedding invitations, and travel documentation. We also include personal information, such as birth certificates, marriage certificates, passports, divorce judgments, and criminal records, if any. The organization of documentation and sufficiency of evidence is vital to a successful application. We spend hours preparing, assembling, and processing adjustment cases to make sure that nothing is missed. What should I look for when filing the application for adjustment of status? These are a few rules you will always want to abide by when preparing an application for adjustment of status. First, always make sure you have the latest form. The USCIS covertly changes forms with little or limited notice to the public. There is nothing worse than to have your application returned because you used an outdated form. Always get your forms from the USCIS.gov website. Number two. Make sure that each and every form is signed and dated. The form layout is not easy to read. This makes it easy to miss where a signature should have gone. Waiting two or three weeks to get your case back because you missed a signature is not fun at all. The third and final point is to make sure you have the correct filing fee. Some forms can be paid and submitted online. Other forms require that you send in a check, money order, or cashier's check. Never send your application with a starter check that you get when you first open your checking account at a bank. Make sure the check or checks have your name and address. Also make sure the check is signed, dated, and is made payable to the proper governmental authority processing your case. Working and getting a green card and taking that next step in your journey can be exciting. Movies are made about the green card process all the time. Make sure your case is handled and processed right. Call for help now. Now, more than ever, it is important that you, your spouse, or family member have an immigration attorney involved in that immigration case to navigate the ever-changing immigration landscape. Get the Ray Law Advantage. 
Get the information and knowledge you need to have peace of mind. Until next time, stay on the right immigration path. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.